Okay, so yesterday I was on Twitter, and obviously because I'm not some mindless sheeple like the rest of you freaking leftist tards, um, people feel the need to um, come at me, harass me, say stupid shit all the time. Most of the time, I don't care. I really don't. But one comment yesterday uh, referring to my religion, which is Christianity, uh, really pissed me off. And not just pissed me off, it, it was beyond offensive. So I reported it to Twitter. Never done that before because I'm not a bitch, okay? But some shit just shouldn't be said and some lines shouldn't be crossed. It was crossed. So I let my concerns be known. This is the email that I got back from Twitter. Wait till you hear this shit. I mean, it's unfucking real. Here's my response email from Twitter. It says, hello, thank you for your recent report. We have reviewed your report carefully and found that there are no violation of the Twitter rules against abusive behavior. There are a number of factors we take into consideration when deciding whether to take action on content. Context matters. Some tweets may seem to be abusive when viewed in isolation, but may not be when viewed in the context of a larger conversation. While we accept reports of violations from anyone, sometimes we also need to hear directly from the target to ensure that we have proper context. Uh, the number of reports we receive does not impact our assessment of whether something violates the Twitter rules. We focus on behavior in order to ensure that people feel safe, Expressing diverse opinions and beliefs, we do not tolerate behavior that crosses the line into abuse, including behavior that harasses, intimidates, or uses fear to silence another user's voice. Additionally, we enforce policies when someone reports behavior that is abusive and targets an entire protected group and or individuals who may be members. This targeting can happen in multiple ways, mentioning someone, tagging someone in a photo, and more. If after you filed this original report, this person tweeted another or additional content that you believe to be abusive, or if there's additional context you think we need to know regarding this situation, please reply to this email and provide us with further details, including links to any, any additional tweets, whatever. Yada, 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 blada, 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 bullshit, more, and fucking more. I'm making this video because... I don't know if anybody else has noticed, but lately between The View with the bitch Joy Behar making the comment about Christians having mental illness, just it just seems like everybody's view of God and Christianity specifically is being targeted and being hated on. I don't understand what the harm is in me believing in God. I had a horrible childhood. I had a horrible upbringing. I've been through way more shit and way, way more pain and way more loss than any one person should ever have to go through. I'm not being a victim. I refuse to be a victim. That's all your side wants to do. But just be prepared that if you come at me, come at me with facts. If I've done something to offend you, let me know, but you don't need to be belligerent and be offensive. That's like your go-to act when you know you're losing a debate. That's how you should all know if you're winning a debate because their automatic go-to is hurl insults, insult you, and be complete fascists and then turn around and call us Nazis, racists, and fascists. I don't get it point of this video is that if you use Twitter, um, apparently if you're a Christian, your feelings and you feeling offended is irrelevant and you don't matter. So you might as well just fucking suck it up because they're not going to do shit. They don't care.